Attention, Dimension Jump passengers. The post pod has arrived. You've got mail. Incoming video message in five, four, three, two, one. Hello Dimension Jumpers, uh, my name is Joe Sims and I play Tut Johnson in Time Wave. I just wanted to wish you an incredible event and a happy 30 year anniversary. I can't believe it's been 30 years since the end. You guys must have been in stasis because you look exactly the same. Have a smegging brilliant time and hopefully I'll catch up with you all soon. Bye! Hey everybody, greetings from Canada. I'm in this beautiful, beautiful lake as you can see behind me and I just wanted to say happy 30th anniversary Red Dwarf. Keep on, smegheads! Hi, my name is Dominic Coleman. Uh, I was lucky enough to appear in the show a couple of seasons ago playing a character called Butler in the episode Crisis. I just want to wish you all a happy 30th anniversary and to thank the fans for being so fantastic and so loyal uh, over all these years. And I hope you have a really brilliant time at the Dimension Jump weekend. Cheers, all the best. Hello, smegheads. It's Philip Labby here. I played Young Rimmer in Series 10 of Red Dwarf. I just wanted to say have a wonderful birthday and I hope all you smegheads have a wonderful weekend celebrating our beloved show. Bottoms up. Hello Dimension Jump, I'm Alexander John Jules, otherwise known as Baby Lister. Just wanted to wish all of you a very happy 30th anniversary and I hope you enjoy the weekend celebrating 30 years of Red Dwarf. Hello, Commander Dominator Slurth here, wishing the Red Dwarf fan club's 30th annual convention the very best. Congratulations. But remember, a tendency to jump to conclusions can prove rather dangerous. <laughs> Over and out. Hello my Dominators. As you can see, I have been agonised along with Chancellor Friday here and I have also been banished to planet Earth. Uh, I'm still suffering a bit with my innards here. Uh, no, that's my innards. Don't eat them, Chancellor Friday. Uh, I just wanted to say happy, happy uh, anniversary. Stop sniffing my innards. Uh, uh, to all the Red Dwarf fans out there. My dominators, forgive me. Hello Red Dwarf fans and I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Some of you may be wondering who this unfamiliar face is, but perhaps if I spoke in the voice of my character it would help you to remember that once upon a time I had a love affair with the devilishly handsome Lister before he went off with that trashy looking dispensing machine 23. I hope you enjoyed watching that episode as much as I enjoyed making it, and I hope you have a great weekend. See you soon. Hi, I'm Mike Tucker. Uh, I run the model unit, and we've been involved in Red Dwarf doing the miniature effects since Series 1. Um, I'd just like to wish you all a very happy anniversary, uh, and I hope you're all having a smegging good time. Uh, best wishes from all here at the model unit. Happy 30th birthday, Red Dwarf. Ha ha ha! It's Mad Astro here, and I'm very pleased to report that thanks to the, the wonders of modern science, I've grown a new brain since that horrible siren thing sucked it out all those years ago. <laughs> so, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy bir... No! No! Not again! C keep away from me with that thing! No! No! <laughs> I'm Dominique Moore and I played Ankita in Red Dwarf and I just wanted to say happy 30th anniversary. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend celebrating 30 years of Red Dwarf. Bye! Smegheads! Happy 30th anniversary! It's uh, John Linehan, Talking Toaster here, uh, wishing you all a happy birthday. 30 years! Look, I look exactly the same as I did before. Anyway, I'm going to go off and make some toast. Hi guys. Hi guys. Suzanne. And Ed. Arlene Rimmer. Director. Uh, director. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Oh. Yo, go for it. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, Smegheads. It's Lucy Paul, Harmony de Gutierrez.
there. Um, I'm listening to Little Milton and want to wish you all a happy 30th Red Dwarf anniversary. Yes! Keep making Red Dwarf. Keep loving Red Dwarf. I love Red Dwarf and I love you guys. Now, uh, do you want to grab a drink first or you want to go somewhere quiet and discuss relativity? Hi, Smegheads. This is Sabra Williams, also known as Lisa Yates. Yes, I'm not dead. I'm alive and living and happy in Los Angeles. I wish you an amazing weekend celebrating the 30th anniversary of Red Dwarf. And who knows, maybe they'll end up being another series and maybe Lisa Yates will come back from the dead. Thank you for all your support over the years and I hope you have a fantastic time. Bye. Hello. I wanted to say, first of all, congratulations to Red Dwarf on their 30th anniversary. Great news. And my name's Graham McTavish, and as you may remember or not, I played Morgan Ackerman in Series 8 of Red Dwarf. Now, since then, I have settled down with Science Officer Patricia Carling, and we are very, very happy to get my, my eye has healed. You can see, there you go, you see? Perfect. Wouldn't be able to tell that was glass at all. And I am living in hiding because there are a lot of people who didn't like me on Floor 13. But I have to say I'm very happy, and I hope you are too. And I do send you the warmest regards from wherever I am in hiding. Goodbye. Hi guys, Rebecca Blackstone here. I played Pre and Big Bang Barrel. And I just want to say happy 30th anniversary of Red Dwarf. I have loved being even a tiny part of it. You guys are amazing. Have a wonderful weekend and uh, have a safe onward journey. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Angela Bruce, the one who made Lister pregnant. I'm wishing all the Red Dwarf fans a happy 30th anniversary. Hello guys, have a wonderful... No, it doesn't work without the mask, does it? Hello, it's Captain Edwin Herring here of the SS Nautilus, aka Stephen Critchlow. Uh, it's not been too faced of me to say, have a wonderful day. It's your day. I can't believe you're 20 years old. You don't look a day over 19 and a half. A fabulous time. I had a ball last time I was there. I'm sure I'll have a great time this time. Okay, lots of love. Take care. Bye. How we doing? Dwarfers, it's Jesus. Bless you. Have a wicked weekend this weekend. I'm so sorry I can't be there, but um, the world simply won't bless itself. You know what I mean? Have a cracker. There he is, look. Hey, God. What a big eagle. Spinning beach balls of doom, it's Mark Dexter. Dimension jump. Ooh, I wish I was there. I was there last year, some of you may remember. Um, no? Ooh. Um, I wish I was there this year, can't make it. A little bit busy, that's fine. But I have a fabulous, 30th DJ special. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Go Dwarf. Alright. Pardon? Do you want me to read this now? I and they're nodding. I have just been handed a piece of paper which appears to be a letter addressed to me, dear Mark. I've not read this before, so bear with me. Dear Mark, during your video message for Dimension Jump, please could you make it clear that it is the character of Arnold Rimmer who is an utter twat, and not the actor who portrays Arnold Rimmer, the upstanding Chris Barry, who in reality remains an extremely likeable and highly respected member of the show business community. Your cooperation on this matter would be greatly appreciated. Yours sincerely, Chris Barry. I'm not reading that. Who gets? Can we do this again? That's, that's so typical. That's pathetic. Oh my god. Hello to all you Red Dwarf fans and happy 30th anniversary to that brilliant program. I'm Arthur Smith, who was in the episode Backwards, you might remember, playing the pub manager. And my words were run backwards, so some of you, though, know what I really said. And here's an additional little thing appropriate to that. I'm going to sing a song and see if you can work out what it is, because I'm singing it backwards. 
Ears nepo so na wana da lutsitian after war. E wo wo ulich le bonich le bonich. Have a good weekend. Shino bel, shino bel, shino bel, shino bel. Oh, what man like this blood and one no so pensory. Hey then, there now, and a big hi to all you out there in flesh and bloodland. And tonight, Smegheads, this is Dimension Jump 2018. Sock it to me now, yeah. <sighs> I'm Gary Martin. <gasps> I played Epodine. You get back in that cage now, you hear? I'm Gary Martin, and I played Epodine. I'm here to wish Red Dwarf a very happy 30th anniversary. Give those guys an eyebrow. Hey, I'm feeling generous. Give them two. Seriously, though. Appearing in the show was a career highlight for me. I had a great time, and the whole cast made me feel really welcome. So, let's celebrate! Biryani a chicken! Play tongue hockey with someone! Open a lager bottle with your anus! Let's make this weekend a... Uh, HARD! One. Have a great time, guys, and remember, don't touch that dial. Hello, my name is Tony Hawks. I was, for a short period, known as the Fifth Dwarf. I did the warm-ups of the first series and then played a number of parts, uh, peaking with Caligula in 1932. So I just want to congratulate you for uh, sticking with this show for 30 years. It's incredible. And I hope you have a fantastic Dimension Jump weekend and there aren't as many injuries as last year. Hello Dimension Jump, my name is Simon Gregson and I played myself in uh, Red Dwarf Back to Earth. I want to wish you all, the crew, the cast and all you fans a happy 30th anniversary. I hope you have a whizzy jolly time. I shall be raising a pint to you in the Rovers. I just want to say it's been 30 years of full on laughter. It's a fantastic show. I was very humbled to be a part of it. I want to say a special congratulations to Doug Naylor, all the people that are behind Red Dwarf and my pal Craig Charles, my other mates Danny John Jules, Robert Llewellyn, Robert Llewellyn and Chris Barry. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Keep making everybody laugh guys. Hello, hello, and hello for the third time. Kevin Eldon here, and in the name of the law, uh, I sentence you to a good time at the Dimension Jump 20. And also a very happy anniversary to Red Dwarf, which is a criminally amusing program, which has uh, arrestingly uh, creative features. Uh, I can't do this. Have a lovely time. All the best to all of you here tonight and to the team of Red Dwarf. Keep up the good work and carry on for another few millennia. In the name of the help me. I, 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 I. Hello, um, my name is Richard O'Callaghan and I had the great, great good fortune to play the creator in an episode of Red Dwarf called Back to Earth. I had a wonderful time doing that wonderful time and a few years later I played Hoagie the Rogie and had another amazing time there. Look, I've turned into him now. I look exactly like Hoagie the Rogie, don't I? Isn't that wonderful? I want to pay, pay my tribute to that fantastic team, to Doug Naylor who has written for 30 years a series, a comedy series, that has never gone off the boil. It just seems to me that it, he's so inventive, his writing is so inventive, so imaginative, so bizarre and lunatic and, and surprising. And I would also say that uh, congratulations to the boys. I mean, what a fantastic team they've been over the years and how loyal they've all been to each other. Chris Barry, Craig Charles, Danny John Jules, and Robert Llewellyn. I mean, where would we be without those wonderful characters drifting into our and out of our consciousness for the last 30 years? Brilliant stuff, guys. Absolutely wonderful. In fact, 
It's no surprise to me that it has lasted for 30 years. I mean, that seems nothing to me with a, when you've got quality like this. I expect it to go on for another 30 years and possibly 130 years. So, you kills my brother. I challenge you to a duel across time and space. Congratulations. Bye. Bev, can you not see I'm really busy? Right, to everyone at Dimension Jump, uh, happy 30th anniversary. Sorry I can't be there, but I'm just not a geek. I'm not that kind of guy, you know what I mean? I have a full life. I have a full life! Happy anniversary. Wish I could be there. Massive fan of the show, as you know. But all those quick cops need a night off. So I'm going to drink some space gin. I'm with you in spirit. Have a great one. Hey, test, test, test. Whenever you're ready, Craig, just have fun with it, like you're talking to a friend. Hello, Dimension Jumpers, Smegheads. My name is Craig Bierko. You may have seen me uh, on YouTube when my hair looked like this. Is it coming back to you? I was fortunate enough to be cast in the American version of the Red Dwarf pilot, which has come to be known as Red Dwarf USA. And to say that the result of what we did was unfunny would be an insult to tragedy. But the truth is nobody ever really sets out to make a comedy that isn't funny with the possible exception of Dante Alighieri. But the good things that came out of it, I uh, convinced the network, which shall remain unnamed, but it starts with N and it ends with C and its middle name is Bertha. I convinced them to bring the team that created the show out, perhaps that might help us wring a laugh or two out of the O'Neill play it had become. Anyway, it was so great to meet and work with uh, both Rob and Doug. Congratulations to both of them on 30 years. What, what an incredible achievement. Uh, I also got a chance to work with your Crichton, who was briefly our Crichton, uh, Robert Llewellyn, who is uh, brilliant uh, and most importantly, uh, kind, then he's made it impossible for me, even after all these years, to think of him as anything but a friend. I miss him. But I also want to congratulate uh, my spiritual, artistic sister and fellow Craig, Craig Charles, the Danny John Jules, the brilliant Chris Barry. We had a good time failing, uh, but failing is, is quite painful, but I don't care. I remain, like you, an ardent fan of Red Dwarf and I just hope it continues on for another 30 and I wouldn't uh, be opposed to anybody starting a hashtag campaign to bring the American cast in to be killed by the original cast but even if we don't get killed by the original cast I want to wish all of you a wonderful weekend have a great time I wish I was there with you maybe I am peace love Hello everybody, I'm calling from my nursing home. Of course, 30 years ago we'd no idea of it. Um, what was it called? Red, Red Dwarf would be so popular. It was lovely days. They were all young, full of vim, vigour and cheap lager. Yes, I don't remember anything about it actually. I believe I played a Russian, Latvian, something. Anyway, uh, many happy returns to you all. Goodbye. Hello. Uh, my name's Gordon Kennedy. I played Hudson in one episode of Red Dwarf uh, back in the last century. Uh, and I just wanted to wish Red Dwarf happy 30th birthday. What's well, an extraordinary length of time for any comedy show. Well deserved. And also to everyone there, uh, congratulations on the 20th Dimension Jump event. That's absolutely fantastic. And for those of you that may not remember Hudson, because it was a long time ago, here's a little reprise. Here we go. Where is it? Where 
Is it? Where is it? Hi guys, AC Harriet here. For those of you who can remember me, I was the chief gelf in Red Dwarf. Do you remember that? Hey, I hear coming out of everywhere it was. <laughs> Two and a half hours in a makeup chair. But uh, what fun I had that day. And uh, who could forget, can't smeg, won't smeg. The boys gave me absolute murder. What were they like, eh? Brilliant times, a fantastic series. No wonder it's in the archives. It's just, just so, so special. And we're talking about the 30th anniversary. Amazing. And that wouldn't happen without all the fans. So thank you to the fans. I hope you all have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant weekend. All right. Take care. <laughs> I can't even remember what I said. Hi. This is Charles Organs, better known as Queeg 500. And I'm here to say to all of you pilgrims of the Red Dwarf family and friends, have a wonderful anniversary. Miss you and good luck. Wanna wish a happy anniversary to all dimension jumpers. It's 30